Welcome back to Toy Soldiers. Now, this is Toy Soldiers HD, the, you know, modern HD remake. Look, you see all those guys rushing in the backwards? In the, in the backwards? In the background? This is one of the best tower defense games I have ever played. Now, it's got multiplayer, so that would be kind of cool. So, if you think we should play this again, we'll pull the trigger like button and let me know. And then, if you want me to do multiplayer with another YouTuber, let me know who they should be in the comments. Now, we're going to play on normal. The Great War begins! Archduke Franz Ferdinand of Austria. Oh, he is kaput! And everybody goes to war. Alright, so we have to defend this village against the Germans. Now, if you look in the top, you're gonna see who's gonna be attacking us and when. So right now, our Tommy boys, you've gotta get to the trenches and defend the lines! So I love this, man. Look at these guys are like actually defending the trenches right now. Okay. So, as this plays out, we've got a thousand dollars and we've got two main tower spots. Well, actually, it looks like three, one deep in the back. I'm thinking what we're gonna want to do is upgrade to two Vickers machine guns right here. Is there a dude with an umbrella just chilling out there right now? There is a dude with an umbrella. Look at that. He's like, all right, charge. So, instead of uh, sticking to the trenches and defending ourselves, we're gonna rush out there. Now, we want to take control of this machine gun, this Vickers here, and that's the fun part. Oh my god, how did they just, like, run right by my guys? And it's a tower defense, but, like, you can take control of every little tower you want. Oh, this is problematic. Okay, I'm gonna need to buy another machine gun, because we don't want- I mean, it's a tower defense game. Any soldier that gets by, essentially, like, you know, it's bad. How many lives do we have? Well, we're at 100%, and we're not really looking- to experiment and find out just how many points we lose when an enemy soldier gets to the end of our base here and across this bridge. So we do have the opportunity to still buy a mortar, but a mortar is 700. Dang, that's pretty expensive. Okay, the Germans are coming, the Germans are coming, get to the machine I mean, I might get to the machine guns. I was using the wrong accent. You know, they're all terrible, but at least they're fun, right? And the more guys I kill, well, you know, we get bonuses. I like these guys. Look at the little spikes on their helmet. You know, if I was making, like, a World War Trench game, I would definitely want the Germans to have, like, spikes on their helmet. Wouldn't that be really cool if I was making a World War I Trench-style game? Wouldn't it, guys? Wouldn't it? I mean, it would be pretty cool. Hey! We're overheating the machine guns. We need to get these liquid cooled. Which is, I think, a possibility. I'm pretty sure you can upgrade the machine guns. Alright, so they're launching... Who are, who are these guys? I think, yeah, these guys are actually carrying machine guns, light machine guns. I kind of want to make this guy a mortar. Yeah, cell unit upgrade for a thousand dollars. All right, this is the key one. So we're going to upgrade him. Now, a little bit of time needs to go by and it turns into this beautiful little clock. Uh, sir, how, how much time needs, needs to, uh, there we go. So it's a 37 millimeter anti-infantry gun. Now we've got like splash damage on our machine gun rounds. So with the next $1,000, I think we should upgrade this. Ooh, and the trenches have some destructibility. Man, it's been so long since I've played, I've forgotten about a lot of this. Now, I think the only thing that would make this better is if you could actually make barracks and then like storm the enemy positions with your own men. That would be pretty cool. But right now they're like bombarding and destroying all of my trenches. And I don't think we have any Tommies left to help defend us. All right, with a thousand bucks, I want to upgrade this guy, but I don't think it's the right thing to do right now. If we get a mortar, is that even in a good spot? I don't think so. I think we actually might need another machine gun. We'll, we'll save it. And let's take command of this. Oh, this thing's great. Okay, now we're reloading though. So what's my... How big is my magazine, my belt? Oh, hold on. And machine gun. Oh, and I actually can put a mortar up here. So that's pretty sweet. So level one mortar. Is he auto-firing? He is auto-firing. Okay, good. So any guys that do get all the way back there are gonna have a lot to deal with, and we are gonna upgrade this first machine gun. And one of the best things- oh my god, I, it's all coming back to me right now. One of my favorite things about this game is the boss battles. Like, you fight all of the crazy little, like, military vehicle concepts that most of them never ever fought in World War One or World War Two or the interwar period or any of that. But like, they put them in the game because it's like, you know what, this is a video game. We don't need historical accuracy. What we want is fun. And honestly, this game is freaking fun. We need, we need water-cooled machine guns here. 
And actually, like, bigger magazines for the 37mm. 37mm goes just- it just pop, 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 baby. Alright, how many guys are left? Now I can press F. Oh, a barrage. We- we called it a barrage. Oh, shoot, that's my own positions. Ooh. Okay, so it looks like enemy cavalry is coming up next. And they're redding up. And actually, now that I think about it, oftentimes you can, like, target the guys that are, like, trying to prepare themselves. And kill them like before certain cases like that all right that didn't work out too well now if we upgrade you upgrade is locked currently we haven't taken any damage so i don't need to like repair them they're coming on the right side i guess one of the things we could do is we might as well just upgrade all of these from vickers mgs to 37 millimeters oh the cavalry's coming now obviously cavalry's gonna be faster but if i can weaken them from afar i killed a few of them Oh, and they're just charging across no man's land. This is awesome. Yeah. I mean, it's sad to kill horsey boys, but not the boys on the horses, but the horses, you know, like, why can't, why can't, like, you just shoot the guy off and then the horses join your side because they're like, those, those Jerry's were mean. All right. We'll leave you to your own devices there, gentlemen. Yeah, so I've got 1400 bucks and I don't think I can build anything else. Oh, I can build multiple mortars on this. I'm gonna do just that. All right, we've got three mortars in this position. The enemy troops are launching and they, while some of the troops like charge over the bridges, whenever I guess they have a big wave, it sure seems like they just charge straight over no man's land, which is just so thematic for a World War One trench battle tower defense battle simulator. Like there's a lot going on here. At its core, it is most definitely tower defense game okay we're almost at 700 bucks so i'm gonna get another mortar system <laughs> dude there's nobody getting by my mortars we can't upgrade them but who needs it all right enemy troops oh did you see the little flare the little firework flare to be like signal them Ooh, armored cars are coming after this cavalry charge we must be mindful so that's kind of like the 37 millimeter mle is gonna do better against the vehicles than say a machine gun would. So I'm thinking we're actually gonna launch this wave of cavalry ahead of time. I don't know if we get a bonus for that, but uh, I wanna see if we do. Cause it makes sense, normally you get a bonus. Plus I'm, I think we're gonna be able to easily defend against these guys. All these guys came across the bridges. Cavalry's running down the center and I mean, remember these four mortars? If anything does get in here. Oh, the armored cars are coming. Yeah, look at it, and, and, and they're like, it's kind of toy themed. Well, I mean, it's very much toy themed, right? Like this is kind of like the Beetlejuice like neighborhood setup, except it's a World War One battlefield. Little model diorama. So like the armored cars have these gears on them and they got machine guns on both sides, which super derpy. <laughs> Did they, did they actually have them? I don't think they did. I mean, they might have. Yeah, these mortars are doing, oh! Someone made it by. Someone made it by. That's tragic. All right, I'm gonna take command of this guy then. Oh, wow. Okay, these armored cars are no joke. What? You gotta be kidding me. How, how do these things, how did these die? What? Protect your toy box, I mean, I, I'm, I'm trying. Oh, there we go. We finally- okay, we killed two. One got by. This is the final enemy wave out here in the first mission. Achievement! We jumped the bags, boys. Alright, toy box health. Cash earned. Wave skipped. There we go. Okay, so when you skip some waves, you get some bonuses there. So about $18,000. Or 18,000 score. Out of a total 429, it was relatively negligible. So it's all about saving your toy box health. And we've unlocked elite difficulty and survival mode. Okay, so level two anti-infantry guns, faster firing with bullets, effective against cavalry, used against infantry and tanks, limited range. Okay, that's what we, that's what, definitely what we're gonna need. So let's go on to the next mission. The France's day. So you two are against me, remember who fights on your side. I, I didn't get to see the rest of it. Okay. Uh, they're reading. I've got $1,500. I think I'm gonna go... Ooh, and we actually have a... Oh, what is this? Oh, hold on. 18 pounder. Sweet. And this thing is shooting at us. So we gotta kill it. I don't know how strong it is. Oh, man. Look at this guy. Look at the little crew right there. 
Oh, and you, you can see the dudes getting up there. Unit destroyed. Oh, they destroyed my... Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, you see that Zar tank? I mean, you can kind of see it. That's going to be one of the bosses we're going to be facing. All right, so I don't know this guy's range, but he was just crushing me. I think we're going to get an 18 pounder, and I hope he destroys this. Artillery fire! Now, can I see its health? Oh, look at this. You can place your own barbed wire. So I could put barbed wire, like, blocking these spots? That's cool. All right, I really need this thing to die so I can put my machine guns in, because the enemy infantry, you can see them massing up in these trenches preparing. You see this? Oh, God. There we go! We destroyed it. Okay, good. Now we can build out here, and I've got 550 bucks. I need $10 more to get another machine gun. Let's see if we can't get it. There's 20 bucks. Okay. There we go. Two Vickers. No, guys, stay in the- stay in the dang trenches! But I- I like this hybrid, like, RTS- Oh! Oh my goodness! This artillery gun is fantastic! It is wrecking and shrecking, and the machine guns are keeping them, and then, of course, all my boys. All me Tommy boys. They're not doing a good job at, uh, n not going out there and dying. Although... Actually, wait, can I destroy that barracks? Let's see. Oh, uh, I can't really reach. Yeah, that's about as far as I can go. Let's see if I... Doesn't look like it. Every- I- I'm pretty sure there's things you can destroy. Oh, there you go. Are they on the- on the flank there? Is that our guy? That's our guy. Oh, look, okay, we're destroying their- their little base over here. And getting some money. Oh. And the- the officer next- to the right of this machine gun is firing a pistol. <laughs> Alright, we can't shoot through bushes, I just learned. Alright, so are we gonna need another machine gun over here? Potentially. Although this one should probably stay as a machine gun. I want this one to be a machine gun. Now, can I upgrade you? I do want a mortar. Oh. Alright, we're gonna get another big artillery piece. Because they're just doing fantastic. So now we've got two, one way in the back, so his range is less. But if they do get in close, he's gonna smack them. Protect your toy box! What is it? Look at all the troops. They're pouring through the forest of neutral Belgium here. Alright, one of these guys needs to turn into... Uh, that may not have been the best time to upgrade my tower. We're at 99%? Who got through? Did someone get through? If they did get through, what did they have got through over there? There we go, we got the auto cannon. The enemy just popped the flare, so... Can I shoot them? Yes, I can. I can weaken some of them. Hopefully an artillery piece just wrecks. Alright, they're coming on the right side, boys. Oh my god, these guys are freaking strong. Yeah, I mean, I have to assume that level 2s are better in every regard, right? And you can't upgrade them past that. I'm gonna get a mortar here, and then maybe another mortar? No, I think a, a last-minute machine gun would be good. And maybe some barbed wire. They keep rushing through here. We're out of barbed wire. I put some in, though. Yeah, you better kill this dude. And that guy. This one right here. If you want it done, do it yourself, old boy. Look at that guy just sitting there with the flag. Like, you know, there's nothing to do. Can you imagine being a machine gunner in World War One? Your KD ratio would be really good, but I, I feel like you'd have to sleep with a lot of, like, sad stuff that you've seen. All right, we're gonna upgrade the three Ford machine guns. When we can. I mean, we're kind of low on money, and we've got armored cars coming. Oh man, the horses have just moved too fast for the artillery pieces. We can upgrade $1,500 to get an upgraded mortar. I'm not entirely sure what they do. But we're stopping them, and these machine guns on the flank, I think, are... Yeah, they're, they're keeping them from sneaking in. I think I want to see an upgraded mortar. I think its range would greatly increase. Is That's kind of my hope here. And every now and then the AI just derps out and they're like, you know what? We're not gonna do our job very well. Oh, don't let him through! Yes! Oh man, there's even more though. Oh! That, was, uh, that felt awfully close. Alright, armored cars. I hate the armored cars. We need anti-tank guns or something. Although you get a ton of money. And now artillery pieces are definitely more effective at destroying these things. Look at that. Okay. 
Speaking of upgrades, let's upgrade the mortar. Now, what happens to you, Mr. Mortar friend? All right, we'll launch this next wave. All the little flares to indicate a charge. Like, let's let him know we're coming. A Newton level two mortar. Yeah, his range definitely increased. And we need a thousand to upgrade that. We can upgrade the big artillery. Okay, I think we're sitting pretty decently. Look at this fortress over here. I wish the camera controls for an HD remaster. I do wish the camera controls were a little bit better. Yeah, you see that? It looks like a fort. Infantry are pouring into the lines. If only we had infantry defending our trenches. Mm. All right, you get upgrade for sure. Charge. But I guess this square platform is big enough to put like, what, four mortars is what we did last time. But I think the 18 pounders are huge. And you could rotate their firing rate, uh, arc, which is interesting. Interesting idea. We're not gonna do it. Huzzah! Up, oh, another wave of armored cars is coming, boys. All right, let's see if I can't get a lot of infantry here. Nah, it was not a lot of infantry. How about this? Yeah, I got I got one guy. <laughs> All right, I should not be in control of artillery, clearly. Although these guys are a bit stronger, aren't they? We'll upgrade you. And then I think almost everybody except this front uh, Vickers is fully upgraded. I want to leave it at a machine gun so it can like... <laughs> this guy was just derping out when he was getting shot. Yeah, like <laughs> their little stagger animations is hilarious. All right, horse is coming. Oh, man. I- my own gunfire can destroy my defenses, it looks like. Let's try to get some bonuses here. 5x. Can't really hit him from here. How are we doing? One armored car left? Cavalry's coming! Charge, boys! Charge! Ooh, we got an A7V. Look at that. Okay, we're gonna be fighting heavily armed tanks. All right, then if that's the case, we're gonna upgrade this guy and we will take command here to defend the forest. These things tear horses a new one, man. Yeah, it takes like three connected hits with this auto cannon. Reloading, sir. Oh, look at all the infantry. <laughs> oh, it's going so well. I mean, it, it appears that way. Okay, now there's a lot of them. They're getting through. Famous last words. It's going so well. Dude, that guy was rifle shooting at me. They have freaking lances. Hello? Are you kidding me? Who armed these guys with lances? Okay, the big tank is coming. There he is! I feel like I, I should focus on him. Oh, there's two of them! The German super tanks! Uh, I, I can't really tell how much damage we're doing. Or any. They don't have hit health bars. And the tanks are shooting at us. Well, unit destroyed! What? Dude, two hits and these things are dead. All right, that one's down. Artillery, fire! You may fire when ready. Oh, that's a direct hit. They're getting under my firing arc soon. Yeah, they're under my firing arc. This is problematic. Yes! I think we did it. That was the final enemy wave. Huzzah! All right, we have defended our World War One trenches against the German super tanks, yeah? And our score was not nearly as good as the first time. 254,000 points, but I dare say, boys, we did a good job. So, if you guys do want to see more Toy Soldiers HD on the channel, some very classic World War I trench-style tower defense against, like, super weapons, and you just saw a preview, a small little preview. Wait till you see some of the boss stuff, and there's multiplayer. So, let me know if we should do more and who we should play with, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.